And a city in the ne- Netherlands is gearing up to ban advertisements for meat products from 2024 because of environmental impact. The governing body of Harlem has not yet decided whether sustainably produced meat will be included in the ad ban. Uh, the Dutch meat sector, as you can imagine, uh, unsurprisingly ropeable. Uh, now, this may sound unlikely, but uh, ben- uh, Amsterdam and The Hague have already banned adverts for the aviation and fossil fuel industries. So with her thoughts on this, we're joined by Claire Inslee from the Vegan Society here in Aotearoa. Kia ora, Claire. Kia ora, how are you today? I'm good. I, I bet you'd be all for this. Uh, absolutely. I think it's the least that um, any country or city can do is to actually ban meat advertising. Now, they're not banning meat. They're not stopping anyone from eating it, buying it, producing it. They're just stopping advertising it. But wouldn't that be like stopping uh, Air New Zealand doing ads because of its emissions? Um, yes, it would be quite like that. And in New Zealand, given that nearly 50% of our emissions are due to animal agriculture, it would certainly be far more sensible for us to ban meat advertising rather than Air New Zealand advertising at this point. Patrick, do you think this is ever going to happen here? Uh, Look, that's a hell of a question. I I suppose what I found myself thinking was, I wonder where, where did the first ban on advertising cigarettes occur? When did that first occur? Mm. Uh, you know, could This could be the thin edge of a wedge which in 40 years' time won't seem remotely uh, controversial. Uh, right now, it, I wouldn't have thought that it's exactly going to take mm. off uh, because most people, are, well, most people that I know are hypocrites like me who agree that, that uh, the way we produce animal protein and consume it is not uh, particularly great for the environment uh, and it's often quite wasteful, but mm, it tastes nice. What about choice, Claire? You know, people having choice. You're a um, vegan and somebody else having the choice to be able to choose what they want to eat. Um, but if somebody chooses to eat animal products, they are making a choice that takes away choice from the animal's right to live, but also making the choice about our future sustainability as a planet. Can I just jump in here too, because I was reading Don Hine, who's a professor of psychology at the University of Canterbury. He specialises in environmental psychology. And what he did is he he looked at some diets and which diets had the most positive impact on uh, the health of the planet. And obviously vegan was right up there, then vegetarian, and then the Mediterranean diet. And what he ascertained um, when people were asked which diet they would adopt, because it was in Australia too, very few actually would adopt the vegan diet, uh, a few more the vegetarian and a lot more were happy to adopt the Mediterranean. So isn't the point here that vegetarian diets may be better for the planet, but the Mediterranean diet is the one that more people are more likely to adopt? So isn't that where we should be putting our energies? Uh, Not from my point of view. Um, Surely we want a future planet for everybody to live on. We're currently nearing 8 billion people on the planet. What everyone eats actually makes a huge difference to everybody else. So it's yeah, not but you can't make people choice. be vegans, though. You can't no, make not, people be vegetarians. No, exactly. And this isn't a ban on people eating meat. It's simply a ban on advertising meat. And the fact is, you already know what meat you want to eat as a meat eater, so they don't really need an advert telling you where to go and buy it or which company to buy it from because you already know what you already like. So we shouldn't actually be encouraging something Um, that's so kind of environmentally destructive. Dude, Claire, this is the first city, I would guess, in the world who who are doing this. Do you think there are going to be more cities who will follow this lead? Um, I really hope so, because I've said it's the most environmentally responsible thing you can do. And as I said, they're not actually stopping anybody from making any choices that they want to make. They're just saying, let's be consistent. We're asking people to reduce their meat consumption why are we continuing to advertise it? There's no need to it. Thank you, Claire. Thanks for joining us on the panel. No worries. That's Claire Inslee from the Vegan Society here in New Zealand. And what do you think uh, people in the meat and dairy industry are thinking right now listening to this, Patrick? I hope that they're thinking um, we can't just ignore this. It was, as she was speaking, as Claire was speaking, I was thinking one of the things that does worry me a bit uh, in reporting you know, New Zealand economy and, and um, economic activity is that 
very often in the uh, meat and dairy sectors, you'll say to people, "What if it all changes?" And they don't they don't say, "Well, then we would such and such," or we give the impression they're particularly thinking about it more. They say, "We'll always have a market for people who eat meat. It'll you know it'll just go to specialist markets. It'll be high quality. It'll be the you know Americans who can continue to to afford it." I just wonder if they got blinkers on about that. There are lots of other places that can make quality meat. If people stop making eating it, we won't be selling it.